Okay, today I'm just going to show you how to do FOC on an arrow. So what I've done here, I've just took a piece of tape and I balance the arrow on my finger. There it is. So I marked it right here. This arrow is 19 inches long. Aluminum to aluminum. It's 19 inches long. Yep. Okay. So the midpoint is nine and a half. So there's the midpoint right there. Mark that. Measure that. And it's about it's about 3.25. So you take your calculator, you say 3.25 divided by 19, the length of the arrow equals 17% FOC. Now what I want to experiment with is to remove these fletchings and it's probably going to take me up to 18 or 19. So here we go. Trim all the old stuff off. All right, and to show you what you gain, <clears throat> so there's 28 grains for three plastic fletchings. These are squared. I'm going to cut about an inch of these off. Look at the low profile on those two. These are wider. So I'm taking 20 grains off of the back of the arrow. And if you know anything about math, physics, whatever, when you, the further out this lever goes, the more impact weight has on it. So if it, say if it bounces right here and you drop 20 grains off of here, that is significant because of the lever action. There's so much more lever here than here and the balance points there. So it's, it's, um, it will, what it will do is it will move the balance point even further forward and we'll measure that when I get done. And um, it allows this to have much more influence on steering your arrow and gives you higher FOC. So we'll work on that and uh, come back and do some more measurements. So one of the reasons I wanted to switch over to the 2117s is that these uh, the barnets are bigger around and the lighted knocks tend to want to fall out of them. And these uh, nocturnal knocks will go inside these 2117s and uh, are very firmly seated uh, I did put me some JB Weld on there to make the anti-dry fire turn off when you um, want to turn the safety off on the crossbow. So anyway, we got one over there, glue and feathers on, and then we'll see what our FOC is and total air weight is and how it changed it. So we'll see what this air weight is. 544. So by taking the veins off of the back and replacing them with the feathers, the feathers weighed eight grains and the fletching weighed 28 grains. So taking 20, 20 grains off the back of the arrow is gonna take me down to 524 total arrow weight. And my FOC is probably gonna go from 17 up to 18 or 19, uh, giving me a more accurate arrow. I'm not so concerned about a super heavy arrow, but I want the best flight I can get and speed uh, to try to hit the deer before it can move significantly. So this will up my speed a little bit, but more importantly, it will increase the accuracy of the arrow with these traditional heads. Okay, now I got the feathers on. We're gonna figure the balance out. We've taken 20 grains off the back of the arrow. There's that. Okay. 
Okay, 19 inch arrow. There's nine and a half. So that's halfway. Oh yeah, and significantly, golly. We're probably gonna go 19 or 20 on this from 17. So we're about three point, let's just say 3.7. See how that changes it. All right, 3.7 divided by 19 equals 19.4%. So we jumped up almost 2.5%, 2.4%. Well, round up, 2.5. Mm -hmm. So let's see what our total error weight is. We were around 540. I think one was 540, one was 544. I weighed different arrows. Now we're at 520. So saved at least 20 grains off the arrow for faster flight, but more importantly, we've still got decent weight, but we've got higher FOC from 17 to 19.4. Rock on. All right, we'll uh, do some sighting in. Something else to point on this fletching versus uh, these veins is look at the profile difference. When you see that thing flying down range, you got a whole lot more to look at from the rear on tracking your arrow, especially if your lighted knock doesn't go off, but also the camera picks it up better. So higher profile, lighter in the end, kind of a win-win, and higher FOC. You see how snug that goes in? And it just kept on wanting to fall out. I lost one in the target. I thought it was in the grass somewhere and it was still sticking down inside the target when the arrow passed through. So I thought, oh, I'm gonna change this. I don't like, these knocks are $10 or so a piece and I don't wanna lose one of them. So, all right. Out with the new, in with the old. Cause the old works better. All right, sighting in. money might come up a click i think that last was a little bit low too we'll go back to 25. all right second arrow second broadhead i adjusted the sight two clicks up may it come up too far Come that one click, call it good, we'll go back to 25. It's kicked the target so it makes it look like it's off, but it's it's left and right's pretty good on both of them. All right, 25 yards, went one click left and one click down. I couldn't shoot the difference. Hit the yellow. All right, call that the number one arrow. Let's try this other one. All right, number two arrow, 25 yards. Yeah. Maybe three quarters of an inch high, dead center. Kick the target over. Money. Yeah. Probably one inch apart. Mm-hmm.